Hi YouTube, welcome to the MA Academy Python Challenges tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to read a hex file. Now, I did the same thing in the previous tutorial. So what's the difference between these tutorials? So in here, you can see that in the previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to read a hex file that contains hex values like this. But what if the hex file that you are gonna trying to read is something like this? Each hex value, it is being preceded by a backslash and x. So how do you read that file? So that's what you will learn in this tutorial. Now I will start from the very basics and go step by step until you reach the point where you can read a file. So I will start from the first, how do you print it? And we will go next using a for loop. And at the end, we will learn how to open a file and how to decode it. So the first thing in here, you can see that I'm using the print function and I am saying print backslash x 6d. So 6d, this is the hex value. And the backslash x, backslash, and then x, it means it's a hex value. So when you pass this to the print function, the print function knows that it's a hex value, so it will decode it into a print text English or using its ASCII value. So in this case, backslash x 6d stands for m. Now in here, I'm doing the same thing, but instead of passing one value, I'm passing this string, which when decoded, it stands for or it is read as MA Academy. So you can pass a single value or a string, it doesn't matter. Next, again, I'm using the same string, MA Academy, and I'm assigning it to this variable called hex underscore string. Next, I say print hex string. So this is hex string, the same thing, but this time I'm saying I'm passing this uh, zero in here. So it means read the first character in here. So the first character does not mean this backslash the first character in here it means the first hex value because when the print function sees that this is a backslash s x it means it understands that it's a hex value so it reads the first element so the first element in this string is this backslash x 6d which stands for m so in here you can see that it gives us this value m next uh, in here i'm again the same thing this string is being assigned to hex string variable but this time I'm using a for loop. So I'm saying for i in the range of. So in the range of what? This x string. So this is the value, this is the variable that holds this string. And inside the brackets, I'm using the len function, len. So len it stands for length. It uh, finds the length of a string. So in this case, what is the length of this string? So it's not like one, two, three. As I said, uh, the Python understands that uh, it's a hex value. So this is the first element. This is one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you say for i in range of length of hex underscore a string, it's the same as saying for i in range of ten. So this length hex string it finds the length of it so in this case the length is 10 so it goes from 0 to 9 then we are saying print hex string and inside brackets i'm using this i so it means go over each one so the first time is 0 this is 1 it's 2 3 it trades over all those characters in here then i'm printing it in here so in here you can see that it gives me ma academy this end by the way uh, i'm not passing anything to it so if you want to separate these values using let's say columns so you can do it when you run it you can see that each of those values is being uh, separated by a column so this in here or you can use a space so you can see that all of those are being uh, separated using a space but i don't want it so that's why i'm using this end like this now it's ma academy so this is what you're interested in next i'm using this open function so i'm saying with open and the first parameter to this function is the name of the file which you're reading, which, under, which is in this case a sample hex file 2. So if I open this in here, you can see that the name of this uh, function is sample hex file 2. So in here, you can see that it's with open sample hex file 2. This is the name of the file. This is the first parameter to this open function. And the second parameter is R. So R stands for read. So why do we want to open this file? Are we writing to it? Are we appending to it? Are we reading for it? So in this case, we are reading it, right? Because we want to decode the hex strings in there. Next, we are saying as if. So this f in here, it is the file handle. If 
from now on we will use the character f to refer to this file in here so it doesn't have to be f you can type some other value as well some other character it doesn't matter next i'm using this creating this variable called data and i'm saying f dot read so what does it mean it means the f as i said was the stand was for the file handler so f means this file and in here i'm saying read it so once you read it assign it to this variable called data so now what it means is the data variable in here it contains the contents of this file which is this in here so this file all of the contents of it has been saved to this variable data next i'm saying for item n data dot split so what it means so item it's a temporary variable and i'm saying for item and data so data in here we saw that data contains all of the contents of the file and then we are saying split it so take all the contents of the file and then split it so split it using what inside this we are in the parameters or backslash x so we are typing uh, two backslashes because it's an escape sequence so it means uh, read this file in here the contents of this file looks something like this so let me open it again so we are saying you read it and split it using this backslash x so what do i mean by, by split it think of it as extracting these values so what it does it kind of extracts these values so this every time it sees a backslash x it ignores them and at the end again i'm just like i did in here i'm saying print so in here it's like print item so item was a temporary variable using uh, which we were iterating over all of those characters in the file so again end is the same we don't want this to be separated so we are uh, just leaving it empty so in here you can see that it extracted it so this file you can see that it's 6d 6120 but they are preceded by a backslash x so it's 6d 61 and 20 so in here you can see that again it's 6d 6120 so every time it, it, it reads over them using this for loop the first time it will print 6d then 61 then 20 and at the end all of them has been printed and at the same time we are ignoring this backslash x so at the end we are what we are what are we doing the same open the same data we are reading it but this time we are creating this new variable called plain text so let me delete this one in here we don't need this so in here this is the plain text and currently this variable plain text is empty so what why do we need it we need it in here so let's get to it so the same thing in here we are using this item variable to iterate over the contents of this data file or this data variable and we are splitting or extracting this backslash x from this file next you can see that this variable that i created which was called plain text i'm using it in here so what it means is added so what do we add to this variable so this plain text plus equals is like saying this plain text is equal to plain text plus this is the same way of doing it so we can this way it is simpler it's neater and it takes less space so we are using byte array and we are saying from hex so we are using the from hex function of the byte array so we are passing item so item is this in here so we know that the first time we read it so the first time we can see that it will read 6d the second time it will second time it will read 61 then it will read 20 so and so on and so forth it will read all of this string in here each time it will take this item from hex we are saying that it's uh, this item that you're using it's of type hex and then we are typing this method or we are using this method decode so what it does it decodes it so every time it reads the item it says that it's a hex and it says decode it so every time it reads it it adds it to this plain text variable which was empty but every time this for loop uh, it reads over it it keeps adding on these values to it it also decodes it and saves it into this variable of plain text and once we are out of this for loop we are printing it so we say print plain text so in here if we comment this out and we say print plain text if you run it it will be something like this you can see that the first time it's m then it's ma ma space then maa and it will keep on adding to it until at the end we reach this string in here so let's quickly uh, 
remove this one and run it again so you can see that we get this MA Academy Python programming challenges so this is it for this one guys this is how you can read a hex file now if you want to read how to an ASCII file watch my next tutorial and if you want to read a hex file which is in this format watch my previous tutorial and if you're interested in other things related to Python uh, like how to use Python for your penetration testing hacking etc you can watch the playlist on my channel uh, and this is it for this one guys if you have any questions suggestions or, uh, or recommendations feel free to put it in the comments section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one